All right, I'm gonna give you a quick mid-journey and chat GPT tutorial. We're gonna write a story and we're gonna develop that story with chat GPT and we're gonna develop visuals with mid-journey. So I'm gonna walk you through all of it. Now, if you want a full course, check the link in the comments for a description. Let's get started. So I have a concept that I'm cooking up right now for just a futuristic Gimli from Lord of the Rings, like a futuristic dwarf roar lord type dude. And so I just kind of start out with this to give you the frame of reference. We're going to ask ChatGPT to help us write a story. So write me a fiction, fiction story. It said fiction. Uh, let's see. Fiction story about a uh, dwarf lord inspired. Uh, uh, dwarf lord warrior inspired by Gimli. Uh, Lord of the Rings, and what we're gonna we're gonna ask it to do is provide kind of some some scenes that we can then visualize out of this. Okay, so we have a story coming through here. Okay, cool. So we got the story where Gimli um, fights some orcs and then they're victorious. But I'm gonna ask it to specifically give us three uh, visual scenes that we could craft from this. So I'd say, um, I'm gonna write out a prompt and I'm just gonna let you see it. Okay, great, so we asked it to give three descriptions of visual scenes from the story that we could illustrate. And so we have Gimli in charge of a army with the ax held high. We have the two armies clashing, Gimli fighting some orcs, and then Gimli standing triumphant over Sauron's defeated form. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna show you how to start building out these mid-journey prompts. So when you install mid-journey on Discord, it's pretty easy. You just go to mid-journey um, for the whole setup. <clears throat> I'll maybe make a separate video on that, but just to describe it, the setup process is just going to Discord, uh, getting the mid-journey bot, go going to the mid-journey Discord and then asking the mid-journey bot to come to your server. And in Discord, you make a server and you just add the mid-journey bot to that server. And then you can just type slash imagine. And then from here, we're going to go and we're going to write a prompt. But first, I want to take this top right one that I generated. We're going to, before we do another prompt, what I'm going to ask it to do is to you two give me an upscaled version of this Gimli right here. And then that is going to run as a job. And then it's going to push that out. Uh, but to build a brand new prompt, I'm going to say uh, futuristic uh, Gimli Dwarf Lord Warrior standing. And I'm going to say literally, I'm just going to copy and paste this in this. Yep, here we go. Here we go. And we're going to copy and paste that in and we're going to see if we like what we get. If we don't like what we get, that's fine. We're just going to either hit this circle right here to regenerate what was given to us. Or if we do like one of them, but we just want some variations, like I could ask for some variations of this, which I will do right now. So give me variations of number two, right? So it goes one, two, three, four. And so we're going to see if we can get a good futuristic Gimli standing at the uh, head of his um, battlefield. And if we don't like something about this, what we'll do is in the prompt, we'll kind of describe um, this. So I don't like this one off the bat. Um, some of these are okay, but he doesn't really seem to be holding an ax. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna add in what it lacked. So I'm gonna say imagine prompt and I'm going to say um, futuristic Gimli Dwarf Lord Warrior with large battle axe and um, and uh, crown on head. And then I'm going to say uh, in digital art style. Sometimes that can help pump out what you want. So we got some different variations for uh, the Gimli. I think this one's kind of dope. The glowing eyes are really neat. 
So I'm gonna actually just ask for like this one right here. So I'm gonna say, let me have U3. That's gonna pump that out. By the way, the other job that I asked for for the U came through. And so this is pretty cool. We've got this like futuristic dwarf warlord kind of thing, but it's not futuristic enough. So I'm going to say um, something like cybernetic or um, I don't know, something of that nature. And we did get something, but the axes are all weird. So I'm going to just re ask for all of that. And then um, if that doesn't work out, then I'm going to ask it for like a hammer um, and then I'm going to try to like reword it until we get to, to what I want, which is a really epic, um, accurate, uh, good weapon, you know, like a sort an actual, like Lord of the Rings type scene. So we're going to, we're going to keep fighting to that. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to see if we can experiment with the, uh, futuristic nature of it. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to try a prompt like this. I'm gonna see if that works out. So I said, futuristic Gimli from Lord of the Rings, cybernetic glowing cyborg warrior with Warhammer standing in front of futuristic dwarf army. So the whole bit of mid journey is just revising and then asking for differences in what you got. So uh, you're gonna say, yes, I want this to be upscaled. No, I don't want this at all. Uh, or yes, I do want variations of this or no, I just want, um, you know, I want a complete redo. So like with this, I could even ask for variations of just this one right here, because let maybe let's say this thing kind of looked like a, the ears were a little weird, but ultimately now we got something kind of going on with uh, over here with the sword. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm actually going to run this one again, but I am going to go with some variations of three and we're going to see if we can get to that. So this process is just cooking up different variations and just telling mid journey like, yes, no, give me one, give me two, give me four. It's sort of like you're at the eye doctor. Um, it's really cool all in all when it gets, gets going. So, okay, cool. I'm liking some of these. I think this one's pretty neat. This is a little bit weird on the head. So I'm going to say, maybe I'm going to go for three and then with this one, this is pretty good. I'm going to maybe go with the sword is pretty is all right over here. Uh, mid journey doesn't like hands. All the AI generators are not big on hands. Um, oh, I got two. I got two and three. No big deal. Um, but okay. So from here, let's go ahead and get a uh, fighting scene. So I like where this went. So I'm going to throw this in here. And instead of standing in front of futuristic dwarf army, I'm gonna say uh, fighting um, ravenous orcs in battlefield of Mordor. So we're just gonna throw that in, see what it does. Sometimes when you throw too many jobs, the mid journey bot has to queue them. And then it takes a little while for it to work through them all. Well, ultimately, these are pretty cool. I like how these came out. Kind of neat. This one's neat. Um, I'm going to maybe get like this one, this one, uh, that one. So I'm going to say, let me have uh, U3 and U2. And then I'm going to take the same prompt. It didn't give me a Warhammer. That's okay. But I'm going to say, uh, imagine. Um, I'm going to change this around. So I'm going to say, with sword and then I'm just gonna hit the up key to pull back what I just um, pushed out and I'm gonna say with axe right and then I'm gonna say with spear I'm just gonna list off a couple different weapons um, glowing battle axe it's pretty cool visual like glowing battle axe 
um, let's say with huge battle axe. And so we're gonna see the prompt that we like, we're gonna say, okay, can we tweak this to say, Gimli has this, Gimli has that. Um, we got something pretty cool here. We got a glowing sword. I like that. Now, if we wanted to um, upscale this, there's this thing that you can do to upscale this in a, in a redo. So like if you, if you didn't like the upscaled version, you can get a redone version of the upscale, which is pretty neat. So we'll see if that comes through. Ultimately, this is dope. Big fan. Okay, let's see what else we got down here. Oh wow, so now it kind of fused um, Gimli with Orcs. And this is a common problem. It's very hard to get uh, the prompt right for fight scenes. So maybe what we'll do is we'll actually say, imagine uh, futuristic Gimli from Lord of the Rings, cybernetic gl glowing cyborg warrior with a warhammer uh, fighting against a pack of and we can see if that works out. Um, and then what I can do is I can start with Gimli fighting orcs in battle. And I can just say like Gimli fighting orcs. And I can actually test and just see which one of these turned out to be more of what I wanted. And that's pretty cool. But he has like a magic wand. He does not have like a battle axe at all. So we're going to need to make some variations of that. That's not... That's not quite um, what we want. Very cool armor though. I'm digging that. So you see I'm kind of dissecting each little, um, each offering that comes out. And I'll say, yeah, I, I do and I don't like this, or I, I don't like that. The glowing sword, that turned out pretty good. The face, um, pretty wild. I'm thinking this one's pretty cool if it didn't look like the the hair and the helmet were just uh, mashing together. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go with um, upscale of four. We also have some options going over here. So this is pretty cool. I think that staff, that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna just upscale that one just for kicks. See how that face turned out? So definitely not. Uh, the way we were we wanted so that was uh, from the upscale. I still find these upscales to not be quite ready or where I'd want them to be but you can try it out for yourself and uh, let me know how it does for yours okay let's see here we got some more options here Okay, I don't feel like I'm into any of those particularly. Yeah, so I'm going to actually just ask for a redo of that one. I redo this one. I am being picky, so um, don't expect this to always happen. Okay, so we got uh, Gimli, and he's fusing with the orcs a little bit. But what we can do... Oh, here we go. Gimli fighting orcs in battle. So this is pretty good so we can maybe start um, working with this prompt because it's, it's actually headed in the right direction we want. So we can say uh, stick cyber cyborg future cyborg Gimli fighting orcs in battle and then we can say um, fighting evil orcs in battle I mean, sometimes evil would add an expression to someone's face. Kind of depends. And I could say, period, and digital art style. Some of these ones that are trying to become realistic, I think we're okay with getting a more like illustrated style. And um, with that in mind, that's, that's really all we need. This is pretty sweet. I'm a big fan of this right now. I think this is really cool, even though he has like a spear staff. I still think there's a lot of opportunity for like a um, kind of like, I don't know, like wizard spear, like elf magic imbued thing. I don't know. That's 
pretty much firing off some creative. Um, this one's pretty sick, although the face is going to be horrible. Let's go ahead and upscale that. We'll just see if we can get it to be anything like what we will want. Yeah, some of these are close, but we'll ask for a couple different variations and see what the upscaled version is like. This one kind of made him look like a, like a World of Warcraft character a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and push for some more characters. So let's go ahead and say... Um, Future, I'll say, yeah, imagine um, futuristic Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Or I could just say like futuristic Sauron. I'll say like futuristic Sauron um, with evil ready for battle. Kind of depends on how the uh, descriptors fire off, but some cool things that can happen here. throw the digital art style in there okay so we're just gonna see what comes across wow that is uh, uh that's pretty sick i'm like at number one i think that's probably the best one so i'm gonna ask for that so the futuristic um still kept some of the elements that we like want to see this is pretty good I don't really know what this thing is, but it's pretty good. Um, maybe going to go with number four. And then over here with the blue Sauron. That's pretty gnarly. I don't think that Sauron would have that, that face, but or really any of these is not very Sauron-esque, but it's pretty cool. So let's see what comes out of a scaled up version. Um, and then let's make a scene that would be like um, cyborg orc fighting on battlefield. I don't say like evil cyborg orc. Let's see. Um, Let's see if I can get like some arc high. I don't know if it'll recognize that, but it probably, it, pro it might. Um, so I've been throwing futuristic in there. Let me just see if uh, we got some of that. And I don't know if it's gonna recognize the uh, the orc keyword. Wow, that's our on one. That's that's coming out pretty pretty nifty right there. Big fan. Let's see what's up with the Dork. I think we're gonna get like a World of Warcraft orc as opposed to a Lord of the Rings orc. So let me go ahead and say imagine a evil Lord of the Rings style orc. We'll see if that works. Now these orcs, they just look like transformers. Not into that. Kind of just wanted an orc, but then I wanted to have to lick a little bit of um, kind of cybernetic-y components in there. I don't know. Just kind of playing with an idea here. All right, so we got a good one, I think, over here on the bottom right, even though it's still a little Warcraft. Um, let's see if we can get another version of this. I'm going to say digital art style. I 
And these are coming out pretty fast in the demo. You may not have this. You, you may have this, you may not. All right, so I really like how this one came out. This is uh, pretty brutal. The fingers are a little bit weird here, but that's to be expected. You got some. You got a pretty evil looking orc here with some some crazy armor. So, yeah, we got a couple different things that we can stitch together for visuals now. Uh, so ultimately, at this point, we've got a bunch of cool um, upscaled images of kind of all these different elements of the scene. So you could go toward making a comic if you want to check out my course. I'll teach you how to build out the visuals, the captions, everything like that. This is just intro to mid journey and the prompts and, and that sort of building process. But overall, you can get really far and you can make a really cool sort of fan fiction or um, sort of any any sort of creative storytelling out of uh, any, uh, you know, original or derivative sort of uh, storyline that you want to based off of, you know, what, whatever characters or inspiration for characters you have. So and look at that one. That's that's pretty nifty. I don't think very Lord of the Rings style, but pretty cool. But anyhow, thank you for watching. Have a good one.